your story He took out an open And wrote something for me Then he kept walking on down the road Disappear like smoke And I thought I'd just seen a ghost Then I looked down at what he wrote He said, son, when you grow up you'll be fine I know you've got questions on your mind
your eyes Get some rest I'm by your side Lay your head on my chest This is Daniel with Dell and Artie, and I'm happy you're here tonight for the Simon Hurley special. That's what we're calling it. <laughs> can you guys hear me? I hope you guys can hear me all right. This is, uh, I had forgotten to turn on my microphone. And I also wanted to know if, if I am uh, a little bit jerky tonight, which is kind of odd. I don't know why my camera feels a little bit odd. I don't know if that's showing up on your end or it's just here on my screen, but uh, let me know in the comments, please. Also, if you're new here, if you're here for the first time, let me know. Type in the word NEW in all caps with an exclamation point, and I want to say hi. I want to say, hello, it's me. <laughs> no, I'm not drinking, guys. In fact, I wish I had something to drink right now. I don't have water or anything over here. Maybe... Someone could call my wife and say, hey, Paula, your hubby needs water. Well, welcome. I'm glad you guys like the sound. I'm using a Rode wireless mic tonight. It's nice and charged and ready to go. And we are excited to play with some new goodies here from Simon Hurley. Look at this. What, what the heck is this right here? What is it? Hello, hello, hello. Did anyone share this with uh, groups online? And let me know if you did that. That'd be awesome. Lori Anderson is new tonight. Well, welcome, Lori. Let's give Lori a hand. It's nice to be celebrated, right, Lori? We're happy you're here. Anyone else new here tonight? We want you to know. Also, if you um, see me boogieing tonight, it's because someone... Uh, gave a donation or a tip they're called and there's a link right there if you want to do that if you're getting any value out of this tonight while we're talking 
maybe not yet maybe it's just not the value bar is not up there yet but a little later maybe uh, you could hit the subscribe button or the like button or hit the thumbs down button twice that'd be awesome we'd love to uh, see you hit that lot that thumbs down button twice uh, make sure it doesn't light up right just once and then turn it off you know <laughs> welcome welcome all right is anyone else new here tonight it's magic that's for sure yes this is magic stuff right here what the heck is this interesting huh what are we talking about tonight what are we going to talk about simon is here simon hurley the simon hurley is here at Dylan Artie Live again tonight. We're happy to have you, Simon. The value bar. <laughs> ah, Carolyn Overman just sent me up. Thank you, Carolyn. All right, guys, ready to sing the boogie? I got a boogie. Ready? I'm going to put the air guitar in. I appreciate that. <laughs> Sammy says that she has some of your ink, Simon. That's awesome. That's great, Sammy. I have all of his inks, too. I've got them right here in my trusty little stand. I don't know if I should pull it out here or not, but I've got them all up here sitting right up here. You guys want to see some of the stamps and things we're going to play with? It does kind of look like a magic eraser, except it's gray right it's gray instead of white but it's not a magic eraser yes 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 you'd use it years ago well, it has been reformulated and redone under simon hurley's brand <laughs> Jana just got hers well get it out and play it play along with me that'll be fun all right let's see what we can play with tonight let's put bring this um camera down here for you guys to see if you're not subscribed to my channel yet what are you waiting for hit that button well it looks like i don't have my camera on up here let's see if i can get this turned on my there we go there it is now i'll switch it on are you ready there we go. Guess what else I have here tonight? I have a brand new craft mat. It's just that my my Tim Holtz mat that I love to death. I absolutely love it. It um what happened was it it just kept glaring with the lights that I have and and I want the production to be nice and, and not blind y'all. So I will use my craft mat, my um Tim Holtz mat, but I'm gonna film on this one so let's see you guys were hoping to see my my craft space and that's what there there we go all right i am really enjoying this stuff too i'm trying to learn how to use it even better but uh, we're gonna play with it tonight i've i i pulled out my baseball home run set here because i think it would be fun to play with that foam with that stamp I'm going to play with this new stamp set here. This is a peel apart rubber background stamp from Simon. Then we have this marble print set. Um, I took it out of its packaging and now I don't know the name of it. We have this six by six stencil. It's called Honey Hive and that's going to be fun to play with tonight. And then this other stencil I saw um simon used this one as well salt so it's called sweater weather this one has i have uh, musical notes in the back it's clean stamp with this stencil in the front it's a snowflake and we have these trees water marble thank you very much and then we have this one here I'm gonna get the, simon i'm sure has all the names of memorize swirly ferns there we go swirly fun so i've got lots of things we're going to play with so we'll just um come in here and have a have a heck of fun heck of a lot of fun we're going to have a heck of a lot of fun keep the comments coming guys because i have a giveaway tonight and um 
I will go to the, the giveaway prize box I have and ship out a prize to the lucky winner tonight. So I feel like I want to use one of these uh, rubber background stamps to play with. I definitely want to use this one and I want to use this one. And then I also want to show you what the thing, what the uh, phone looks like when we run, run it over the stencil and then this definitely. So let's get busy on this stuff. And instead of going to, through lots of details on the phone, because Simon would know better about those details on formulation and cleaning and all of that, I'm just going to show you how I played with it already and then um, let you guys have an idea. I also have two new blocks here from Simon's, Simon Hurley. almost said Simon Says Stamp. <laughs> from Simon Hurley. And these are really nice and they're really different and they're a different thickness and I really like them. I, and I like the grid on them as well. And I like that we have Simon's name uh, printed on there too. That's really cool. Hey Sherry Courtney, welcome my friend. Carol Lee, welcome. Shlona, hello. All right, what I'm gonna do now is get my heat tool because I don't have the the Ranger one. It has a broader, more like a hair dryer opening on the front of it. And this one is just a little more intensified, I guess. But um, we're going to use it. It will work just as well. It will, it will. And I'm going to get out, first of all, out of this home run set. I'm going to get out this... Um, chicken wire fence and I'm gonna put that down on my block my stamping block and then I'm going to heat up this foam and show you how it works all right all right so you just keep it the uh, heat tool moving over your foam. You don't want to get it uh, burned out or anything. Welcome Bon Bon. All right, let's see. You don't have to melt your block. You just have to get it nice and warm. But we do want to get it warm. I hang mine up on a little hook over there on my Rascog cart. I'm just going to try to center this right here and then press it down. I think that's really cool that this block is nice and big and gives me the leverage that I need to get the uh, impression in there. Even impression. <laughs> that's fun. Let's see. Let's see how well it works. It may be, it may have been too tight a, uh, an opening in them, in them, in, I can't even talk. Sometimes I feel like my mouth doesn't work. These may be too tight of an opening, but we'll see. So let's grab some Simon Hurley ink. This is overzealous. I'm just gonna rub some of that on there like that. And this will wash right off. And then I'm gonna come in with some Remember Me. Remember Me is a kind of a blue-green, and it'll mix nice with that uh, overzealous. Get out one of my pieces of cardstock. I have some cardstock already cut out into panels for us tonight. We're just going to make a bunch of panels and then see what we can do with them. Is that cool? I'm going to take my distress sprayer here and just uh, lightly spray this. I'm going to spray it a few times over here. All right. 
and now I'm going to lay this down right in the center. This I don't this doesn't this sweater doesn't have a lot of texture to it. Yeah, the names on his inks are fun. <laughs> Alright, let's see what ooh, look at that. That's fun. You know what that looks like? It actually looks like my son's soccer net. It could be uh, a baseball pitcher's um, practice net, too. Wouldn't that be cool? Maybe that's what it's supposed to be, and I don't know. <laughs> All right, now watch. You can clean this right up. Just grab the uh, water and a cloth, and that ink comes right up. And then you just, if you want to reset your, your tool, your phone, you just add the heat onto it. And it goes right back to where it was. Yes, no staining. That's really fun. <laughs> that means I can reuse this over and 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 over. <laughs> All right, so that's one background. That's background number one, already done. And that was super easy to do, right? I'm just gonna let that dry up there off camera. Put my stamp back in and we'll make a card with that in just a little bit. Let's go on to uh, stamp number two or background number two. Let's do our honey hive here. Oh, that's Greek in. Thank you, $50. $50. You're so generous, Yvette. Thank you so much. Time to boogie, guys. You ready? I don't know how to name it. Thank you, Yvette. That was very, very kind of you. I'm going to heat this up again. There's a link for the supplies list for you guys to go shopping tonight and here's a link if you want just uh, to go straight to Ranger where Simon's stuff is available for you hey Berta I'm just gonna heat this up again get it nice and mold uh, moldable <laughs> thanks Peggy <laughs> All right. No. I'm going to I tried it one way already. I'm going to try it this way. I'm just going to try positioning my stencil like this and then pressing my pressing the uh, acrylic block on top of it. What do you think? I'm up here, guys. You see my face? What do you think? This is, maybe it'll work, face. All right, are you ready? I'm gonna take it off. All right, so I have the pattern in there now, and this will last for a little while, a good while, so I could use it over and over if I like. I'm just going to use, let's get over the moon and grr, grr. <laughs> Thanks, Maureen. I try to be a little entertaining here. I'm 
I'm going to mix these colors a little bit. So, <laughs> thank you, my friend. Paints and glitter, you're so sweet. I'm just adding some of this uh, brown in here with this yellow. It'll be a little grungy, but it's okay. Let's blend it out a bit. I'm gonna get a, a blender brush. Now this one is kind of needing to be loosened up a little bit, so I'm just gonna run my fingers through it to break it up a bit. Break it up, break it up. Okay. And then just tap it around. I see some lines in there I'm not going to want to keep in my impression. So I'm going to try to tap them off just a little bit. And then spray this. One, two. One, two. And now I'm going to lay this down right here about the center. Hi, Reyna. What is going down, guys? What is going on? Now, I'm just holding this here because I got distracted. But So there's what it looks like. It kind of looks like... Um, it kind of looks like um, a grid from a truck. You know what I mean? That looks cool. All right, let's try another one. I'm going to leave the brown that I have on there, and I'm going to just... Uh, yeah, the foam's too thick for the platform, I think. I'm going to leave the brown that I have on there and just add the yellow on top. I don't know how much of it will come off still, but we'll see. Let's try again. Look at that. Isn't that fun? Isn't that a beautiful honey color? I love that. Ooh, snake skin. Brandon. Brandon's definitely a boy. Snakes and snails and puppy dog tails, right? I just really like that. Look at that. The impression is still there. I mean, it probably lasts... Uh, I don't know, maybe, I haven't tried it. Maybe S Simon could tell you how long that'll last. I'm just going to clean this off, clean the ink off, and I bet you this, the impression is still there for us. All right, yep, it's still there. Let's try another color. Which one do you guys like the best? <laughs> They're both fun. Just let them dry and we'll do some things with them in just a little bit. Now I could go back over this. Like this. I, once this dries, I'm going to go back over it with my stencil just to add another piece of uh, dimension to that. Alright. Let's grab these uh, ferns and our Super quick. I'm going to try to be really fast this time and see if we can get a much better impression, a deeper impression. I just flipped it over and uh, now I'm going to heat this sucker up. Yeah, isn't Simon the best? Thanks, Simon. Mm. All right, 
I'm just going to be real quick and flip this over. I'm going to actually use my... I like to use that acrylic block so I can get even pressure all the way over. Let's see how it works. Look at that impression. Woo! Woo, doggy. All right. Let's see what we can do here. So instead of... Instead of going in straight away, like, just stamping the pad, let's color the actual ferns. We'll color the ferns with uh, Simon Hurley dye ink pad. So I'm just going to press some of this out on my craft mat. Like that. You guys can't see that ink. Let me move my beautiful bald head there real quick, but there it is. I'll put myself down here for you guys. There we go. I'm just going to spray it a little bit. Pick some up with my brush and then just color in the fern. And some of the fern is going to get, you know, you don't have to be too particular with it either. Some of the fern is going to get some uh, overzealous on it, so. This is going to be kind of a funky watercolor look. We're not looking for perfection here. Precision. Precision is not all go. You know what our goal is? Our goal is freaking fun. This world is so stressful. Life is stressful. And sometimes you just want to go to your craft room and enjoy yourself a little bit without the pressures of all the things happening going on around us, you know? Life is hard enough. So let's make our crafting time fun and not stressful. I think if you're cussing at your projects, you're doing something wrong. Unless that's just the normal way of talking for you, but I'm saying. If you're cussing mad at your projects, you're either super passionate or you're doing something wrong. Let's get some overzealous over here. And we'll paint in, we'll just add some of this in places on the insides here. We're just gonna see how this works. I saw Simon do this, and I was like, I wanna try that. Just on the kind of insides of the ferns. Okay, what are you guys talking about? <laughs> Singing while you craft. All right, I'm going to just spray this with water just a little bit. And let's see what we can do here. Let's see what, we, what we're going to do here. Let's see what happens. Cussing is so unnecessary, Berta says. All right. See what I got? I got a very 
faint amount of ink everywhere. So now I'm going to come in with a fully loaded pad. I'm going to flip this over. I'm going to roughly line this up. Let's see. Make sure I get it on there as I had it before. I'm just going to roughly line this up because I don't think I'm going to be able to get that perfectly on, but we'll see. Ooh, ay mi madre, ay mi madre, que bonito Danielito, que trabajo más fino hiciste hoy. No hay artista como vos, Daniel. Oh my gosh, that's really nice, Simon. Oh, Simon, that looks so good, Simon. <laughs> Man, I just really like that. I think that's a lot of fun. You guys got to try that. See, it was so easy to line up, too. Wasn't that great? I, I cannot believe that it came out so very nice. Estoy más que feliz. Raquel, ¿qué piensas? What do you guys think? I'm going to give myself a round of applause. I like that. Bello, ay, mi mal. <laughs> yes, Raquel. Oh, my gato. I love it. All right. Let's just keep that there for a second because we need to ooh and ah over that. That's really fun. Okay. Let's do another one. We could play, I think I found my groove right now. We could play all night with this. Let's add this one here. This is uh, Remember Me. All right. And I'm just gonna spritz it with water a little bit there. I may have to cut more panels, these are fun. <laughs> Berta, I'm showing off, yes. All right, just press that down real quick like that. And look at that pretty, beautiful background. These are fun, guys. You guys want to, you're going to want to grab this. I know you're going to want to get these. They just reloaded the stock online for them, so... If you want to go straight to Simon Hurley's collection on um, ranger.com, they have super fast shipping. They're really great people. You guys can go grab it right now there at the link I just posted. Or if you want to see all of my supplies that I'm using tonight, you can do that right there. There's a link for you. All right. We've got lots of backgrounds done already. Let's keep going, though. I think I'm going to keep this one like this for a bit because I really like that. I like it a lot. I like the deep grooves on that. How about the musical notes one? Let's do that one too. First, let's do this mail, the mail right here. The mail. I want to do that in, let's do a nice, um, Beasting here. For some reason, I want to do beasting. And because I'm going to leave my impression on my foam block there, I'm going to get out another foam block. Okay. Let's see. How about I clean up my space here real quick before... I mess other things up. I'm liking this new mat too. I like it a lot. All right. This is bee sting. It's gonna heat up my phone. Shelly, these are Simon stamps. Just click this link right here, and you'll see all of the stamps that I'm using. There are four blocks per package, Donna. I 
Okay, I'm just, uh... Melissa, this is the Altenew mat. It's also in that list, I... It's also in that list. Let's go back. <laughs> All right. I should have been faster with this, but let's see. Jan, I haven't tried using this this uh, side of the foam yet. You know what? I think I could probably get a better impression if I if I heated that up a little bit better. So I'm just gonna heat this whole thing up again. Yeah, this is more like a self-healing mat. I love my Tim Holtz glass mat. I just, uh, I like having this where there's not a glare on my, on my, um, on my videos, you know. All right, let's see. I'm gonna keep it under the heat roof until, just until the last second there. Until the very last second. If you stamp a word in this, the words are gonna come out backwards. I already tried it. <laughs> so it's gonna give you the reverse image. Look at that. Now that's a much better impression. Uh, Simon was absolutely right. Um, it, you're you're going to get a better impression if you work faster. So I'm just going to put my ink down there. Get my foam nice and inky. Spritz it just a bit. I'm trying my best to line these up so then I don't have to cut them down, but I'm just gonna add that there. Look at that beautiful background. Lots of little envelopes, perfectly done. What a great color this is, bee steam. Okay, now watch what I'm gonna do next. I'm going to add some orange in here. This is a, a yellow orange called Over the Moon. I'm just gonna add some of this in here because I'm a crazy person. Spritz it once, twice, and then I'm going to try to line it up as best I can. Corner to corner there and lay it down. Just press it in, and it gives me more of an orange red in certain spots. Pretty cool, huh? Pretty cool. All right, and now I can just Watch how easy this cleans up. Yes, Shelly, it's like a debossed image on your on your phone. These are really fun to play with, Simon. I can't wait to see all the different things we get to do with this that we can do with this. All right. I have more. Where's my my uh, musical notes stamp set. There we go. I want to play with that one.
Isn't it super fun, Jen? Oh my gosh, I love it. All right. Look at this. Beautiful notes here. I'm going to have this ready right here. I'm going to melt, not melt, but uh, heat my foam. Some coins on the table. I have a trash can I'm gonna use here in a second, guys. You ready for that? Get ready for that. Yeah, this is a gorgeous stamp. Any dye ink will work really great with this, Jan. I don't know about pigment inks. Can't see why it wouldn't. San uh, Simon may know. You want me to try to melt it? I can try to melt the foam. <laughs> Bonnie wants to see some coins done. That sounds fun, Bon Bon. I'm just gonna heat it up real nice. Nice and warm. And then press it right down. I'm trying to do all this at once. Yeah, the worst thing that can happen is it stains. Well, who cares? Who cares? We used to think staining, you know? All right, let's get another panel here. And we're going to ink this guy up. I'm going to use Remember Me. And then I'm going to take some of it off with a blender brush. Just knock some of that back. And then I'm going to use some triple berry. Triple berry. Just knock back some of the the lines there. Spray it twice and lay this down. Let's see it. There we go. Look at that. <coughs> Excuse me. Isn't that fun? It's backwards a little bit. That's okay. Who cares? Who cares? <laughs> the squishing technique. What did I do with my rag? There we go. All right. We had another one I was wanting to play with, right? You guys want to see the marble one and the trees? Man, I got so many options here. Uh, Bonnie wants to see coins. My son takes all my coins. Keys would be fun. I have one quarter. See that? One quarter. <laughs> the marble one. All right, let's try the marble one. Now the trash can is going to be a little awkward, but we're going to do it. Hi, Cheryl. I don't want to melt my rubber stamp.
I have two boys. I have one who's 17 and one who's 15. <laughs> Raquel, it'd be one lonely little quarter. All right. It's almost ready. Let's see if I can get this impression in there. Did it work? It did. All right. The younger one is the one who steals my coins. I'm surprised he hasn't come over because I'll take a nap in my office over here sometimes in the afternoons and my quarters and dimes and nickels all fall out into the seam of the couch and he comes over and picks them up and then puts them in his box and saves it for Christmas time and then he buys everyone's part everyone's presents from him that way. Isn't he sweet? Such a sweet little booger. He's a good boy. All right, watch this. Let's spray it. I'm not gonna push too hard on this one. But isn't that fun? You know, it reminds me of the the marbling inside of old books. That's cool, Simon. Check out how many of you guys are excited about Simon's Simon's phone. Well, if you haven't shopped for Simon's phone yet, why don't you head on over there? If you're on the computer, you can click that link I just posted right there and head on over and grab you some. I'm going to do one more impression and then we can make a few cards with what we've done. Does that sound cool? Let's do this one here, the trees. This is called Tree Farm. They're all together, let's keep them that way. I'm gonna melt, I keep saying melt my phone, but I'm just gonna, um, let's get another piece out, because I may wanna use those again. <laughs> Raquel says, a cat's paw print. Yeah, my cats wouldn't work. See, I have two cats who are who are brothers. I have four cats, but two of them are brothers, and they look just the same. I mean, they are super close the way they look. And if you're not careful, you'll mix them up. And so the other day, Jax, who was the crazy one, he's not all there. And he is sleeping in Felix's spot in the dining room and he, Felix is the sweetest he's a big teddy bear they're both super fat and 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 you want to squeeze their guts out Felix is super sweet like he I just call him a cat suit because he's like empty but he's and he just lets you do whatever you know pick him up hold him however you like squeeze him pet him and he will just you know chill but Jax, if you touch him in the wrong spot, will claw you and make you wish you weren't born. He is crazy. Like, he can go psycho on you. And so the other day, yesterday, Jax is sleeping in Felix's spot, and I thought it was Felix, and I just walk up to him, and I just start petting his face and squeezing him like I always do Felix, and loving on him and calling him a good boy, and then all of a sudden he goes, Rawr, smack, and he claws my hand. And tries to get away from me. I thought, ooh, you're not Felix, are you? You're Jackson. <laughs> All right. Hi, Amy Phillips. I do love cats, man. Cats are my favorite. 
I like dogs too, but cats are... I'm a cat person. Yes, that Jackson, he will get you. <laughs> I don't eat that. Alright, alright, alright. We are almost there. I feel like we're almost there. Let's get my block ready. Flip that over real fast and press it in. Oh, I'm not letting you guys see what I'm doing. What the heck? Oh my goodness, Amy, that's awful. <laughs> Thank you, Carol. <laughs> Thanks, Carol. <laughs> All right, I can't wait to see how this one works. It's like the, the outside of this uh, tree farm. Let's do overzealous and remember me. We'll do over we'll do remember me up here at the top. And then we'll do overzealous here at the bottom. Right, Roberta? Y'all aren't here to see this handsome mug? That's not what you're here for? <laughs> All right, so I spritzed it twice. Let's see how it turns out when I lay this down here like this. Just to get a nice even impression, I'm going to use my Simon Hurley acrylic block and look at that beautiful beautiful impression there Denise wants to know what the restream bot is restream is a service I'm using to stream this video to YouTube and Facebook at the same time and restream bot connects our chat so the people on Facebook and YouTube can see everything that they're chatting or saying also, when I post, it'll come up with something. So, like the list, if you want the list for things I'm I'm uh, playing with here, the inks, the the uh, the foam, the the mat, everything is going to be in the list there. The uh, some of the stamps I don't have listed because I didn't have them planned out before I I came on. Just the newer ones from Simon, okay. And then uh, also, if you're interested in seeing me boogie, send a donation over and I'll dance. I mean, everyone wants to see me dance, right? <laughs> All right, there it is. So Bonnie couldn't find me on Facebook, but I know there are people on Facebook because I can see them chatting. Um, it doesn't actually cling. It just maybe was static clean, but it's not like sticky to it. It doesn't stick to it. So, all right, let's make some projects with our, with what we did tonight. I want to make a project with this one first because I love that um, home run stamp set. And uh, I'm going to. not do that. Let's uh, stamp our guy and his face. I really appreciate you guys buying Simon's stuff. Please do. I really appreciate it. And I'm sure he does too. Oh, that! Oh my gosh! Another, another fifty, my friend. Thank you. That's very kind. All right, if that wants to see me boogie, you ready?
thank you very much, my friend. That's very kind. Thank you, thank you. All right, I'm going to put the head on first. Oh, man. Thank you, Sherry. You guys are so, so freaking awesome. Thank you. So I got a boogie. I love a dance. You like it when I do that at the end? Right, right? That's, that's the best part right there. Right? <laughs> Shelly wants me to stand up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'll stand up and boogie. Are you ready? Let's do a stand up and boogie. Bah, there we go. <laughs> All right. All right. Thank you guys for all of those fun donations. I always have a good time dancing here. I'm looking for my black ink. I put it over here, didn't I? I'm going to get out my Gina K. This is Amalgam Ink. And I'm just going to stamp in right there. Don't break a hip. <laughs> You're so funny. Carol. I'm not going to break a hip. I'm not, I don't think I'm old enough to break a hip without some major, major, um, trauma. <laughs> Me too. I love Arties. They're the best. You guys are awesome. <laughs> She's watching. You guys don't even know. She's over there at the house watching. My studio is separate from the house, so um, she's not able to see me. Let's get in right in here like this. No, you don't have to heat set amalgam ink. What a great little image that is. Isn't that fun? That is so fun. Now, I'm going to Copic color him because I can do it pretty quickly. So I hope you guys don't mind me grabbing some Copic markers real quick. I'm going to stay in the same color family that I used for the background. So blue, green, and green. So let's get BGs out here. And some YGs. YG0907, 03, how about that? We'll do that. We'll use these for our coloring tonight. Let's do this. I'm going to zoom in a little bit for you guys. So you can see what I'm doing. Let's color his uniform. We'll do his pants and this blue green color here. Now I'm not doing super fancy work here. It's not actually necessary. It's only when you feel like it, I guess, but I'm not doing the flicking or anything like that. Just give him a little bit of dimension there, right? Blend those in as best I can. I love that. All right. And we'll give him a very light green top here. This. 
All right, that's YG03. Let's get even lighter on him. YG01. We'll do that. Maybe just a little bit of YG07 in here. Like that. I just think that's really fun. See how easy that was? You guys, sometimes we just go a little overboard with our coloring. I'm going to give him a uh, blue green hat here. Yeah, don't you love his face? <laughs> I love his mouth. The I think my favorite one is of all of Simon's drawings. My very favorite is the the little boy Christmas caroling with his head back and his mouth open. I just absolutely love that. It's my favorite one. All right, so let's do this right here. He looks like an alien. Maybe he is an alien. Maybe he's a body snatcher, Bon Bon. <laughs> I think that's my favorite whole, uh, my favorite stamp set ever from Simon. It's just, I love it. Now, he needs to have red hair, right? Because the green. So let's give him red hair, orange hair, actually, but. Just like that. The bat is going to be a little light brown. Let's do E43, E41. There you go. Just two quick lines. Super easy. And for skin, I actually like to use E50s for the skin. A little uh, red-headed boy, that'll work perfectly. I'm just gonna give him a little bit of darker E53 right here under his hat and along the side of his face, right here on the underside of his arm, and right there. Then E51, and we'll blend it out. And this guy right here. This is E50, so this pretty tight little blend here. And I'm just going to skip the E51 on his arm. Just go straight for E50. And then for his shoes, let's do, let's do an, uh, a warm gray. We'll do a W2. How about that? Since it's tax season, anyone else excited about getting their taxes done? There, he is finished, right? Now what does he need? He needs to be cut out. So let's go to our lefty snips here since I am a lefty and I'm going to cut him out. Simon, do you have dyes for your project products? I have not asked that before, but I just, I mean, I don't mind fussy cutting. I know it takes a little bit longer, 
but uh, I don't mind it actually. I talked about that last Saturday, I think. You guys know I like I actually like the fussy cut. These are my Tim Holtz lefty scissors that Tim Holtz himself sent me. I'm not bragging or anything, but, you know, I don't actually know Tim Holtz very well at all. Or at all. I've never met him. But I do have a tag that he signed when he sent me these, these snips. And that made me very happy. And I still have it up on my wall. Let's go in here like this. It's almost spring training time, isn't it? For baseball. Let me know in the comments what your favorite baseball team is. And if you don't like baseball, don't say anything. <laughs> now, if you don't like baseball, I'm just kidding. You can say whatever you like. But you do need to go get your head checked. Just saying. You need to immediately start liking it. Bonnie, close your eyes, my friend. That's what I tell my wife when I'm driving. She has 20 heart attacks every time I get in the car with her. And that's just before turning on the car. So I'm like, honey, just close your eyes and pretend that nothing is happening. There we go. Colorado Rockies, awesome. San Francisco Giants, we'll, we'll forgive her. We will forgive her for that. Kendra, now we're talking. Sue says um, Blue Jays and Kendra loves the Cardinals. That's my team right there. The cards ever since I was a little boy. <laughs> Isn't that a cute little project? Look at that, guys. That's cute. All right. I'm going to pop him up on some foam tape. The Mets? Really, Reyna? I didn't know anyone actually liked the Mets. You know, I thought they just were there. Yes, I heard Hank Aaron passed away today. All right, we are almost done with this card. It was pretty easy, right? Just the stamp on the foam, ink it up, lay it down, really easy, fun, all right, let's do this, what am I seeing, I'm missing comments here, uh, Bon Bon likes football, <laughs> Sadistic to be a Mets fan. That's funny. A Steelers fan, Kirsten says. So now I need to root for who's left in the playoffs. <laughs> right, Amy? Fussy cutting helps. It gets your, your mind off of other things. This foam tape. What is going on? There we go. All right, so what a fun little background we have going on here. Does it need to be straightened up a bit? It seems like it needs to be straightened up a bit. You know what? Let's straighten it up a little bit. To straighten this up, you just put, pop it in your Tim Holtz trimmer here. And line it up with your, your uh, guard here. Make sure it's nice and even. Like that. 
And then as you go around, it's going to be lined perfectly, uh, lined up perfectly. So. There you go. All right. Now it's lined up. And I have some cardstock ready to go for card bases here, don't I? Yep, I do, right there. Maureen, you need that trimmer. You do, my friend. Pearl Blossom Press has good foam tape, Berta. Why don't I have it yet? Why haven't I heard about it yet? Right, Carol? That was what I was going for. Sherry knows what she's talking about. She loves that trimmer. Mary Sebastiano loves it, too. Y'all are smart, smart ladies. All right, I'm going to also pop this up on foam tape. I love foam tape. I wish you could eat foam tape, because I'd eat it. It's so amazing. I love it. All right, so let's see. Isn't it fun to uh, put foam tape on stuff and tear it and just spin things around and then satisfying to peel this off like this? Sherry knows what she's talking about, see? She also loves it. <laughs> I'm just saying, Rain Song, if it was edible, it might be delicious. Copic friendly paper that won't put you in the poorhouse. No. But think about it like this it enriches your life in other ways. <laughs> I mean, it's up to you, whatever you're going to use it for. Depends, I guess, on what you're going to use it for. There we go. Did I put this on upside down? No. I did. Well, I was going to put this, make this as the sky and this is grass, right? I'm still going to do that. Now, you see where I positioned my little boy? He is positioned on the this third of the card, right? And his head is this on this third of the card as well. The, where this third and this third meet, that's where he is. That's on purpose. That's a design choice. A smart design choice. Expensive paper, expensive products. Yep, the Copics are not cheap. All right, we need a sentiment on here. This is it perfect for our little boy's birthday card? I want to do this one right here. I love you. It says I love you. Isn't that sweet? and some black cardstock that I just had here a while ago. Let's get that right here. I love you. Isn't that sweet? All right, 
I put it right there. And I'm just going to hold this down with my magnet. And I'm going to stamp this with some embossing ink. I have some from Hero Arts right here. Thank you, Deborah. That's sweet. Okay. Let's get some Hero Arts detail, white detail embossing powder. Look at that chunky little font there. Isn't that great? What a great little font that is. There we go. And we will heat this puppy up, trim her down. I did, Carol. <laughs> I was so proud of her. She did a fine job with her zombies. they would too, Carolee. It's a great set for boys or girls, you know, for kids playing baseball. Let's do this. Now, I'm going to finish one card tonight, but I will have more on my recap when I do my recap for you guys. I love you too. I love you so much. Sure, I'll show you the stamp set again real quick. This is the one I'm playing with right now. I played with a bunch of them though. It's called Home Run. See that? It says Home Run. You guys ready to do the giveaway now? Let me finish this guy. I have a sermon to get ready for tomorrow. Always. Sunday is a big day for, day for me. Yes, Bonnie, that is right. But it makes it really nice when it gets there, right? <laughs> Bonbon's waiting on me to mail something. I mail things about once a month. I am not like Ranger. I'm going to tuck that in right underneath him. And put that right there. I just think that's so fun. What a great little design. Great, fun little design, very playful. And we did it with that stamping foam. Look at these backgrounds we did. This is the tree farm. This is the musical notes. The mail, happy mail. 
the ferns. Did a couple of those. The honey. The honey bee one. What's the Simon? Help me with the names, my buddy. I'm sorry. And then the uh, water marble. Lots of fun little backgrounds. And then what I would do is make a bunch of these, keep them aside, and then just pop on things as I go when I need the backgrounds. Isn't that fun? Thanks, Simon. I appreciate it. Thanks for sending me this stuff, buddy. It's so much fun. Uh, Simon was on our live last month, or last uh, Saturday, and um, heard me talking about his fun foam, and he sent this to me, so it was very kind of him. Thank you very much. I will uh, come up with several more cards. Honey Hive. And uh, post them using my Instagram and um, my blog, so it'll be up there for you guys. It'll also come out in my newsletter this week, so keep your eyes peeled. If you are not subscribed to my newsletter, what are you waiting for? Text Artie to 66866 and then give the, the person uh, operating that phone your email address and they'll sign you up. It's all automatic. I'm just kidding. There's not like someone back there doing that. <laughs> The hex one. <laughs> yes, exactly. I'm terrible about names anyway. All right. So text Artie to 66866. Do that right now, and I'm going to give you a hand. A round of applause. A round of applause. Thank you very much. <laughs> Bonbons and Artie, yes, you are. Raquel, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Okay, Amy, I'll pray for you, my friend. Also, if you guys want to go shopping tonight, would you guys use my link? I'm hungry. I haven't eaten in weeks because I don't make any money. I'm kidding. That's not true. Um, I want you to, to click on this link right here. Can you, do that? Can you do this for me? Click on that link and come back and tell me. I clicked on that link. It's just a way of Ranger knowing that I sent you to their website. So it really helps. You don't even have to buy anything. All you have to do is click that link. Click the link. Click the link. <laughs> Was that threatening? I hope not. If you're not subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Hit that button. And the little bell, too. So every time I come on live, you guys will get a, a ding, a notice, and you'll see me come on live. I'm here every Saturday night at 9 p.m. and sometimes I sneak on during the week just for fun and uh, it's great. Glitter Grunge Greetings is here. Hey buddy, how you doing man? I love this guy. Have you guys subscribed to his channel? Go check it out. Glitter Grunge Greetings. Glitter Grunge Greetings. Let me put that up there real quick. There we go. There he is. Such a great guy and I love his creations. It's lots of fun. Lots of fun. All right, what was I doing? What was I saying? Bonnie is a faithful artie. She shops on my links all month. She's a great person. Yeah, those links help me a lot. You know what? Even if you don't shop, but if you click on them, I mean, I would love it if you went shopping, but clicking on them is a big deal. It helps people know that I sent you their way. And we want... The whole crafting community to know that the Dell and Artie community is alive and shaking, right? All right. Let's see. What else was I going to say? Oh, some of you wanted to know about that. Let's give you the, that's the donate button. If you found value in tonight, in tonight's video and you wanted to do, to do a donation, you can do it there. And... I think that's all I wanted to do. Oh, no, if you're on Facebook, hit that like button. Please. Pretty please. All right. Gracias, Yvette. Ella compró en mi link. Buena onda. Thank you so much. A, a round of applause for all the Arties. All right. It's time to pick a winner. 
I'm going to show you guys my screen here. Keep your comments coming. Every comment is an entry into the giveaway, so who knows where it's going to end up tonight. So I'm going to go all the way up to the top to the very beginning. Ooh, that's a long way up. And it didn't go all the way up, did it? What's going on with my restream? Maybe I should do it here on my other comments. Okay. I don't think you can see this one, though. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to do this right here. Enter main window overlay scenes. I thought there was one where I could do that. Live demo mode, there it is. Turn on live demo mode. Okay. And this is what I wanted you guys to be able to see. That didn't work. I don't know how to do it, guys. You just trust me, because I'm gonna use this other comments and reactions window I have here, and the winner, I want you to uh, send me an email, please, at delanardi.com. Do not, please don't text message me. Don't send me a message, a private message on, about this. I mean, you can do that for other things. But about this, about the giveaway, if you want your prize, you have to send me an email and tell me uh, what night you won. And uh, I'll give you a prize. It's a real nice prize. All right. It's out of my prize box. I have a prize box full of fun craft supplies. And the winner is Elizabeth Rue. Should you use only dye ink, she said. Let me put that up there. Elizabeth Rue, you are the winner of tonight's giveaway. Please send me an email to delandarty at gmail.com. I will type that in for you. And I will get that prize out to you. I'm doing a mailing on Monday. So that's real nice. Right? So, Bon Bon, everyone, if I owe you a prize, Monday is the shipping day for that. So be on the lookout there. There's my email address. Thank you all so much for joining in tonight. Thank you, Simon, for the awesome pack of products you sent my way. And I'm happy to share them anytime. I would love to do that anytime. Um, love to support our crafting designers and companies. I really enjoy it with all my heart. I do it for fun and I do it for us and I do it for my family. So I think we all get to work together and have some fun and benefit. All right. If anyone has any questions, just let me know. I will stay here for just a minute or two. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm waiting for questions. Do you have questions? Uh, bon Bon, I know your email. I know your address. I've got your stuff all figured out. <laughs> All right, guys, I don't see any more questions popping in here. But thank you so much. Love you, Berta. Love you guys. Everybody, each one of you is wonderful. The glitter guy's name, Glitter Grunge Greetings. Glitter Grunge Greetings. That's how I know him. I need to know his first and last name. <laughs> thank you so much. You guys are awesome. I appreciate each and every one of you. Can't wait to use the... Yes, it's going to be fun. Lana... I'll get you on that uh, uh, mice and bridge card. I'll, I'll show you how I did it, all right? But it wouldn't be tonight. Couldn't do it tonight, but we'll get you. All right. All right. Hope you guys have a wonderful 